Hey everybody, Tim Miranda here for today's review of Doctor Who. Uh, story number 188, 42. That's not all one number. Um, so, <laughs> right off the bat, what'd you think? I like this episode. Okay. I did. Um, Quite a bit. So, the first interesting trivia fact for you, uh, it was written by Chris Chibnall. However the fuck you say his name, I'm terrible at names. For an English major, terrible at names. Um, this is the guy, he wrote a lot of season, uh, he wrote a lot of Torchwood. Oh, okay. But he is the current showrunner for Doctor Who, with oh. the 13th Doctor. Okay. Um, he's kind of hit and miss. A lot of people don't like him. I like him. I think he's good. Um, which is kind of weird, though, because, like, knowing that Doctor, like, the 13th Doctor stories, this, and Torchwood, mm -hmm. like, they're all very, very different. Oh, okay. Which is good. Like, Which is good, yeah. I mean, for yeah. like Moffat, for example, you can pick out his stories in each season because he yeah. has a very distinctive writing style. Mm -hmm. Whereas to me, this blended in just fine. Yeah. So it worked for me. Um, the title 42 in itself could be a reference to The Secret of the Universe, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Nope. Mm -hmm. um, so back in the 70s, there was a book series, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, written by Douglas Adams. Um, I've seen the movie. And so they ask the robot, what is the secret to the universe? And the robot says, 42. And they're like, well, what's that. the question? And the, the robot's like, well, you didn't ask for a question. You asked for an answer. So that's kind of Douglas Adams yeah. humor. Um, so anyway, so it could be a reference to that. Douglas Adams also did write mm -hmm. episodes of Doctor Who in the 60s, in the 70s, oh. uh, for the fourth Doctor. Um, so it could be a reference to that as well. Um, it's also kind of the average length of the episode. So it's almost like a real time episode. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like gotcha. a la 24, yeah. which I've never actually seen with Keith Ferris over, yeah. but whatever. Um, overall, I don't know. Some things I liked, uh, like some things I didn't like Martha getting the cell phone and the key. Yeah. Very reminiscent of him giving that shit to Rose. Yep. And I'm like, Especially the cell phone like that. Like, right when he gave it to her, I was like, oh, I'm And good. see, that's, Whatever. I love about Doctor Who. You can Doctor call anybody Who. in the universe, as long as you have the area code. Which, and that's the thing that I love about Doctor Who, is they go anywhere they want, in time, space, whatever. But for New Who, I have heartburn. Okay. Um, for New Who, they seem to be traveling in real time. Mm -hmm. So, like, when the, when, like, Martha or Rose would call somebody, like, it's, yeah. it's right then. Yeah. So, like, how do they know when to call and when not to? Like, yeah, exactly. can Rose call on a Thursday and be like, oh, shit, I missed your birthday, hang up, and then call on a Tuesday? Like, go oh, back a couple yeah, days? Yeah, Like, I, I don't... think about that. Yeah, yeah, see, that's the phone thing's always dumb to me. Yeah. Um, to me, we kind of brought it up during the video, or during the, watching it, um, it's very reminiscent of the Planet Hell yeah. two-parter. Yeah. But I like this one more. I think I like this one more, too, actually. Because the pro my problem with the planet Hell, like, I loved a lot of the suspense, but, like, the whole, like, devil in the, the thing in the and the guy, like, having the tattoos yeah. on his... Whereas this was very more simple. Yeah. So, and I, I think I actually like this one more. Um, Just the whole, like, what is it, burn with me? Burn. Burn yeah, with burn me. Yeah, burn with me. Which yeah. I kept thinking he was saying bed with me. And then when she's like, he's my husband, I was like, oh. Oh, no. And then, I don't know, I think it was an accent thing. I kept hearing bed with me. Um, I did love all of the trivia questions to open oh, yeah. the doors. Yeah, that was... I wanted more, because we only got two. Yeah. I wanted, like, fucking all of them. <laughs> Give me a dozen of them. I was all about it. Which, it was funny, because when they had asked who had more top... Number one hits. Yeah. Number one hits that the Beatles or Elvis. I still think it's the Beatles. I don't Both even of care. us said the Beatles. I don't care what Mrs. And Jones then, says. Yeah. I still think it's the Beatles. And then Martha calls her mom and her mom has her mom look it up and her mom says it was Elvis and that's what let them through the door. So I, I don't think it's Elvis. Oh. But, but I wanted more of those. I feel like they would have looked into this before they made that's this episode. Nice. They could be wrong. I'm right. <laughs> it's cool. Um but I I wanted more trivia questions. Yeah. Like two is not enough. No. But and it's well, okay. I mean, they did ask, "What's your favorite color?" And he yelled, "Purple." And then, as he's typing it in, he's like, "Oh, did I say orange?" And but <laughs> door opened. Well, um, but like I was, it kind of reminded me of like the Anne Rob Robert Robotson, like when they're on the game show and it's the weakest link. Oh yes, like yes. I love the whole yeah. like trivia thing. Android. Android. Yeah. Um. So I like that. The doctor getting infected. I could live without. 
I was yeah. like, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, burn with me, and then him yeah. like, but David Tennant's acting was fucking on point. Oh yeah, like when he's like screaming because he's yeah. being frozen. Ooh, like it was, it was hard. It was, he was good. Wow, it was good. It was, it was yeah. very well done. Um, I don't know. I don't. And then the big twist at the end where Mrs. Jones is like working with Mr. Saxon's people. Yeah. Uh, I keep throwing a T. There's no T. It's Saxon. Saxon. But I keep throwing a T for it. Saxton. Maybe because that's how you wrote it in your notes. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, oh, I did. Ah, okay. Um, anything else? Something jump out at you? I think the only thing I didn't like was that Martha got stuck in the escape pod with the dude. What is his name? I don't, I don't remember know. his name. None and of the then, characters were very, like, they were all kind of forgettable. Yeah. But get stuck in the escape pod with that dude. And then that the doctor has to get them back and it just remagnetizes. And then at the Reverse end the of the, polarity. yeah. And then at the end of the episode, uh, they kiss and shit because. Oh yeah, got, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause they were stuck in the escape pod together. Like, um, we almost died. So I'm going to make out with you. We're like what? Five episodes in the season. Yeah. And she's been trying to jump the doctor the whole time. Yeah. And she's like, Ooh, somebody else is giving me attention. Yep. Nope. Not having it. Uh, Which they point. made it seem like the doctor was upset about it when she got back in the TARDIS, right before he gives her the key. I don't think he was upset about that. I think he was upset that he was, like, dying. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think. I don't know. It was very, like, ambiguous. Yeah, it was really weird. So I didn't like it. Uh, that's a good point. Didn't think about it. Yeah. Um, anything else? No, that was it. Okay. Um, so for those who have seen it, what did you guys think? Go ahead, let us know, and we will see you guys next time for another two-parter. The Human Nature and the Family of Blood.